Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a radical equation. An equation with two different radicals. We have the cube root of x plus 1 equals the square root of x minus 3. And we're going to be solving for x values. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and present two methods and then show you two different graphs. So for my first method, I'd like to go brute force and raise both sides to the sixth power. And the reason for that is I have a cube root and a square root, which is a two that's not written. So the release common multiple is six. If I do raise both sides to the sixth power, then I'll get rid of both of the radicals. So let's do it. So we're going to raise both sides to the 6th power like this. When you raise uh, something like cube root to the 6th power, these two are actually going to cancel out and you're going to end up with a 2 on the outside. And here this is a 2, they're going to cancel out and you're going to end up with a 3 on the outside. So from here we're going to get x plus 1 squared equals x minus 3 cubed. So that's kind of like this is not a difference of 2 cubes or a difference of 2 squares. There are different powers. So let's go ahead and write this on the left hand side first. And then let's subtract this and set the whole thing equal to zero. So our goal is to get a cubic equation from here. Okay, let's do that. How do you cube x minus 3? Usually the formula that I use for cubing a minus b is a cubed minus b cubed minus 3ab multiplied by a minus b. So x minus 3 cubed in that sense is going to be x cubed minus 27 minus 3ab is going to be 9x multiplied by x minus 3. And then I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 9x. And x plus 1 squared can be written as x squared plus 2x plus 1. Awesome. Let's go ahead and distribute and simplify this. x cubed minus 27 minus 9x squared plus 27x minus x squared minus 2x minus 1. If you simplify this and of course set it equal to 0, all the time this was equal to 0, right? We're going to get x cubed minus, now we have a 9, t minus 9 and minus 1, it's going to make, make a mi nine, <laughs> minus 10x squared, and then we have a 27x minus 2x, which is a positive 25x, and then we have negative 27 plus negative 1, which is negative 28. Okay, so this is our cubic equation. How do you solve a cubic? There are some formulas, there are some different methods, one of which is the following. You can go ahead and get rid of the x squared term first. And to be able to do that, you have to replace x with something. How about x equals y plus 10 thirds? Do you like it? Probably not. But if you replace x with that everywhere, here, here, and here, you're going to get rid of the quadratic term, which is going to be y squared in this case. You're going to have a y cube, y, and a constant, of course, with some coefficients. And then you can, you know, solve that cubic equation using this identity. So you're going to get something like a plus b cubed minus 3ab times a plus b equals a cubed plus b cubed. And then here you can go ahead and replace this with y. And then since your equation is not going to have a y squared, you pretty much got yourself and the same equation and you can compare these numbers to the coefficients and so on and so forth. Make sense? So that's the idea and you can solve it and then after you find the y values you're going to back substitute using this and then that's going to give you the x values. But that's only going to give you a single x value and you can take that, do the polynomial or synthetic or whatever division you want or factoring and uh, find the other solution. So there's going to be a total of three solutions because this is a cubic equation. Make sense? So that's pretty much how you can solve this cubic equation. Or there's an alternative if you suspect, and a lot of these problems are contrived, as some people say, uh, there's going to be a nice solution. And then a nice solution basically means rational or integer. And obviously, when our equation is monic, you're not really expecting a rational solution. That is not an integer, but you're more like expecting an integer. Anyways, so here's what I can do to solve the problem. I'm looking at 
divisors or factors of 28. Those are going to be like 1. And obviously, this is going to be always like a plus minus. So we can kind of write it like, let's, okay, let's start over. Plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 7, plus minus 14, and plus minus 28. So there are like 10 candidates, and you can test each one. And guess what? At least one of them is going to work if there are integer solutions. So since this is like a competition level problem, that should be, right? Okay, to keep a long story short, I'll tell you what it is that integer solution is going to be x equals 2. And you can easily verify that. How? You can just plug it in. 8 minus 40 plus 50 minus 28 is basically equal to 58 minus... Okay, 58 minus 68... No, actually, it, this is not the solution. Never mind. <laughs> what am I talking about? X equals 2 is not the solution. X equals 7 is the solution. Let's go ahead and test it out. 7 cubed minus 10 times 7 squared plus 25 times 7 minus 28. Anyways, you can do that verification. I'm just going to skip through this for the sake of time. And look at the second method. Obviously, the second method is going to be nicer. It's supposed to be nicer, right? So let's go ahead and take a look. We have the cube root of x plus 1 equals the square root of x minus 3. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and set both of these equal to something. How about using a different variable like t? Okay, cool. Now from the first equation, if you cube both sides, you get x plus 1 equals t cubed. And from the second equation, if you square both sides, you get x minus 3 equals t squared. See how easy that is compared to the 6 power method. I hope you'll appreciate that. Now, notice that uh, we can both extract x from these equations. x is going to be t cubed minus 1, and x is going to be t squared plus 3. If two things are equal to the same thing, then they are equal. So t cubed minus 1 needs to equal t squared plus 3. Awesome. Let's put everything on the same side. t cubed minus t squared minus 1 minus 3 is going to be minus 4 equals 0. Awesome. Now, what is t? Let's find out. Well, again, you can use the rational root theorem or whatever the Cardano's method, the Ferrari's method, or uh, Lamborghini, I don't know. Some type of method you can use here, but there's an easier way to do this because you can basically uh, factor this expression, like how t cubed minus 8 minus t squared plus 4. You can kind of break down the negative 4 into this, and then this is factorable by difference of two cubes, and this is factor by dif uh, difference of two squares, <laughs> just can't talk today. And then t minus 2 take out, you're going to get t squared plus 2t plus 4. That's going to give us t squared plus 3t, because we're going to have an extra t from here. And plus 4, actually that's not right. Let's go ahead and fix this. Sorry. It's going to be t squared plus t, 2t plus 4 minus t plus 2. So it's going to be t squared plus t plus 2 equals 0. And obviously, you're not going to get real solutions from here, but that's perfectly fine. Oh. Okay. So basically, you're going to get this equation, and you're not going to get real solutions from here, but that's perfectly fine. But t equals t is going to be one of the values. And t is what? t is, we don't know. x plus 1 is t cubed. OK, x plus 1 is t cubed. So t cubed is 8. x plus 1 is 8. x equals 7. So that gives us the real solution. And the other solutions can be found by setting this equal to 0, finding the complex solutions, so on and so forth. You can find them easy peasy, lemon cheesy. Let me go ahead and show you the graphs, and we'll finish up. This is the one of the graphs, which is the radicals. And you can see 7, 0 is a solution. And the other one is the cubic. Again, 7, 0 is a solution. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.